Okay, so let me try to make this short. And again, first few videos is more for you to get acclimated to the fact that uh, there's a website that you have to go to, the class website. Um, maybe you, want, you don't have to watch the whole video. You can just check uh, a couple of questions here and there in case you are not 100% sure. Um, that's what the videos are for. So, number one, classify these numbers rationally, rationally, and give you a reason. Well, again, seven three. So I'll do a. So seven hundred seven thousand three nine. It's a rational number because it's part of the counting set, right? It's part of the whole number set. It's part of the integers. Okay. And our definition of rational number is if we can write it as a ratio of two integers, a over b, where a is an integer and b is an integer, then it's a rational number. So 7329, 7329, can I write it? Yeah, I can write it as a ratio of two integers. There you go. b, square root of 4, is 2. And likewise, 2 is counting whole integer rational, and 2 can also be written like that. Uh, 0 0.9857327589411. Nothing is repeating and it goes on forever and ever and it doesn't repeat, so it's irrational. Yeah, so this one 2a is irrational because I there's no way I can put that over over I don't even know what to put it over because I don't know the place value of the last digit. B ooh, careful here. Is there anything that repeats? 593, 593. So <laughs> Let me erase this and 593. It looks like I can rewrite this as 0 0.5287. 593 seems to be repeating and repeating and repeating over and over. So this is what it looks like. Can I express this as a ratio of two inches? Can I put it in a fraction? Yes, we can. I'm not going to go through the process, but yes, we can. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so that's all. This is definitely rational because it repeats. Okay. Um, where am I? Three. Give an example that would satisfy these rules. Three. A um, number that's real, rational. Well, every number is real. So, real, rational, whole, integer, and natural. So, how about the old number five? It's natural. It's an integer. It's a whole number. It's rational. So, real and irrational. Well, square root of three. Right. The square root of three is a non-repeating, non-terminating decimal. Pi. Okay. Uh, the number there's real, rational, and integer. Well, how about this? Uh, negative eight. Negative eight is an integer. It's rational. It definitely. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Where am I? Six. Classify each number as rational. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Okay, give you a reason. Whole natural. All right. Three fourth is just a rational number. Okay, it doesn't belong. It's real. Sorry. So all these numbers are real. So I'm just gonna state that right away. All they're real. Now, this one is rational. Um, it's not a whole number. It's not a natural number. It's not an integer. So three fourth is just rational. Negative twelve over four can be rewritten as negative three. Negative three is definitely real. It's an integer. That's it. It's not a whole number, and it's not a counting or a natural number. So natural and counting, uh, okay, the same, same set. Zero point three four, uh, three four five, three four five, three four five, or zero point three four five bar notation. It's a repeating decimal, and if it's a repeating decimal, we can write it in this format, right? As a ratio of two integers, and if we can write it as a ratio of two integers, it's a rational. Number. Okay, it's not whole, it's not natural, it's not integer. The last one here, this is a <coughs> terminating decimal. I can write that as a ratio of two integers. I can write that A over B. So this would be 10, 100, oh, 1,000, 10,000, 100,000, million, 10 million, 100 million, 1 billion, 10 billion. So the place value is 10 billion. over six four seven three four nine zero four two four so I can write this negative sorry uh, as a ratio of two integers okay it's not a decimal that goes on forever right it's a terminating decimal we can actually find the last 
place value of the last digit. Okay. Eight, give you examples of rational numbers that fit between the sets of numbers. All right, okay, so again, 0 0.56 and 0 0.65. Let me draw a number line. So this is 0, and this is 1, and this is negative 1. 0 0.56 would be, I don't know, somewhere around here. Okay, so I'll write 0 0.56 negative. And then 0 0.65, it's not too far away, it's right, right there. There's 0 0.65. So a number that's in the, between these two these two spots here. Now let's don't complicate things. About 0 0.57. 0 0.57 2. 0 0.57 3 4 5. Uh, 0 0.58 negative sorry. Negative 0 0.58 etc. So any number negative negative point 0 0.64. Negative 0 0.6499999. That's between those two numbers. And then again, another one between a negative and a, another negative. So negative 5.76 here. So imagine a number line. Negative 5 point, again, a very close up of a number line. Right? So what numbers exist between these two? Well, how about negative 0.5761 which is right about here negative 0.5.76999 that would be really really close to 0. Point, negative 5.77 right so that's would be right there so there's an infinite amount of numbers right between those two points last one 3.64, so again, here's a number line. Maybe a number line helps you visualize. So here's 3.46, 3.64. What? Give me, <coughs> give me some numbers that are between. So 3.47, 3.63, 3.50, 3.55, 3.56, 3.57, 3.58, 3.59, 3.60, 3.61, 3.62, 3.63, 3.64, 3.65, 3.66, 3.66, 3.66, 3.66, 3.66, 3.66, 